Hey, what is going on you guys? It is your boy Backwoods Outlaw back here with you for another video. I'm sorry I have been active and all kinds of shit like that. Been really busy with a lot of stuff. Stuff that I know probably none of you give a fuck about. But I don't really know the topic of the video. I don't know what the head of the topic of the video is gonna be today. But we'll figure that out as we go along. Son, how about fucking bitch? My phone just dropped. Damn it. Alright, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, guys. But shit. Now. I don't know if most of you know that you follow me on Instagram or whatever. I did make a new Instagram. It is g.e underscore underscore 56. If you want to go follow that and shout it out. The person who shouts me out the most. And I get like the more followers. One, one shout out equals one entry. I'm doing a um, bunch of giveaway at to 2,500 uh, 2, followers and also if you can shout out my YouTube and get me to like on your Instagram page or whatever uh, you can like get another entry by doing that that's really easy ways to get entries and everything I know for me yapping my big ass fucking mouth. And time to get to packing. Now what I'm packing today is some good old fucking Copenhagen wintergreen. My gums are raw as hell. And I only have 24 minutes into the new episode of The Walking Dead crew. Oh my god, The Walking Dead? Holy shit. The Walking Dead is my favorite show fucking ever. I think it's gonna say what happened to Carl. Got his eye shot. <laughs> Got his damn eye shot out, man. <laughs> that ain't even right. But shit. That really isn't even flipping right. Now, I don't know uh, if you guys would like or well, if you guys are packing look like with me at home. Get packing. Crack it. And here's your song, Dicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First in a good old fat ass dip, like we always do. Well, most of the damn time. Now. Back to what I was saying. Oh. Comment y'all's favorite times to dip. Whether it be watching TV, playing sports, hunting, fishing, Xbox, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, comment whatever you play. If you have an Xbox 360 and you want to add me, I will just message me and I'll give you my gaming tag. Now, much of the other day is the Confederate Outlaw, what I always spit in. Because I gave my other much joke to my buddy. Ah. Fuck my damn gun's burning. Damn you, Copenhagen Wintergreen. Uh, the, bigger, the, the bigger of a gift that I put in, the more flavor it comes out. Right. Instead of putting a full can of Copenhagen wintergreen, so all the flavor would drip out of my mouth and I wouldn't be able to spit, I wouldn't be able to talk, I wouldn't be able to do nothing. But there is one problem with gutting your dip. Oh, I had a damn topic. Alright, topic of the day is dipping underage. I think I already done a video on this. I don't know. I think I might have to redo it. So I'm doing it now.
Alright, now, first thing you need to know, to, first thing you need to know about underage dipping. Well, if you're underage and you dip like I do, well, because of my body size, like my height and everything, well, I don't know if you can see, but I shade and everything. I, I usually have like a full beard and shit. So I don't, I do not get carded whatsoever. Wherever I go, I can buy dip, I can buy cigarettes, I can buy alcohol, whatever the hell I want. I buy cigarettes from my, from my sister. And from my daddy. Now, there is one slight problem that I have with like dipping underage and everything. It's like your gums are not completely hit like well, how do I put this? They're not really completely generated to their full effect. Like, as you get older, your gums get stronger and stronger. Now, right now, I'm 16, I'm turning 17 next month and shit. So, yeah, but, um, like, I can pretty much do whatever I want. Ah. Uh. As this is my third dip of the day. Yeah, third dip of the day. <clears throat> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Now. Okay, let's continue. What the hell I'm saying. Your gums are not completely generated to their full effect. So the older you get, the stronger your gums get. But if you are dip, if you've been dipping for a while like I have, I've been dipping for over three years. I think yeah, three years. So yeah. But anyways, um, as you. As you like get to dipping like a lot, a lot, a lot of day, like a lot of days that you get to dip and everything, like your gums begin to get raw as hell and it creates a pocket in your lip. Like whenever you dip on that same side, whenever it's like raw as hell, it creates a pocket. It creates a pocket in your lip. Now, one thing for sure, if you do not want to get, like, gum cancer or loose teeth, brush your teeth constantly right after you take, right after you take your dip out. Go ahead and brush your teeth. Like, I don't know about y'all, but after I, take this, after I take a dip out, I brush my teeth. Then when I'm hungry, I go downstairs and eat. After I eat, I put another dip in. Keep them in for a couple hours. Sorry, y'all, about that. But yeah. If I keep these dips in for long periods of time. Like whenever I'm in school, I have I have no other choice but to gut my dip. Like I cannot take them. I can like if I could, I would take this mother. I would take this motherfucker to school with me if I could. I would also take, I mean, I don't, I, I don't use bottles. Shit, I really gut my dip and use a damn bottle. Shit. But, Mudjug, if you want one, go over to mudjug.com and get you one. They have the new backwards camo and also, uh, what is it? Oh, the new, um, Confederate Duck Hunt Camo Mud Jug available on mudjug.com. Now, if you live in a small town and everything and you know everybody, and well, say your older brother is of age, or your older cousin's of age, or your sister's of age, like, what you pretty much want to do is you want to get on their good side. And like, 
slightly ease into asking them to buy you to go get you a can of dip. Like my older brother was I first started dipping my older brother got me my dip because he was of age. Now me and my brother are three years difference. I'm sixteen, he's nineteen. I'm turning seventeen. No, me and him are two years difference. He was born in ninety seven, I was born in ninety nine. So three years difference. But a hmm, couple months. Couple months and a couple of days difference. But yeah. Now, as I said, me and my brother are two years apart. So he buys me my dip whenever I get like I sometimes get carded but not all the time. Whenever I do, I go up to a truck and I give him the money and he goes inside and gets it for me. Now as you as most of you guys know, Copenhagen one green is my favorite one green of all. My second is probably Grizzly. Grizzly one green is not that bad, but it was it like messes up your gums a lot. I'm sorry for constantly spitting y'all is like I have so much shit built up in my third sign in front, but it is, well, yeah, you get the point. Now, if you want to dip in school and you're underage, I really wouldn't recommend it. Like, if you're good at hiding your dip, like putting it in the back of your mouth right here, and not putting it right here to where everybody can fucking see it, yeah, go ahead. But, mm, I really do not recommend dipping in school because most of the time teachers can smell your breath. But if you're going to dip in school, I wouldn't do wintergreen or nothing like that. I would do straight or Copenhagen original long cut or whatever your choice to dip. But, kind of like, if you have if you have a see-through water bottle I would not recommend that but if you have a Dr. Pepper bottle like drink it halfway down to where you can't like the teacher can't see the spit or nothing because it's like their clothes already dark and everything so like Whenever you have to spit, slightly drink, like, act like you're drinking it, but spit in it. Like, if you get what I mean, pretty sure you do. I don't know. But, yeah. Now, my first time dipping in school, I was in, I was a freshman. Right now, I'm a junior. So, a lot of times, I did for my first, second, third, and sixth period, because my sixth period teacher did not give a fine fuck, neither does my coaches. So, my coaches know I dip, they don't care. I play football, my coach just told me to take care of my gums and I'll be fine. But it's like if you're cool with your teachers and you're on their good side, and like most of my teachers I am on their good side but one, that is my that is a linebacker coach and he is my first period teacher. Now, it is pretty weird and everything, but you have to get used to like gutting your dip. Like, if you don't want to get cold, 
by weary teachers gut your dick like practice it throughout the summer or whatever just gut it gut it gut it like as soon as you put in a dip, dip in you have to spit like gut the spit either that is just like get it to where it's has no flavor at all then you can gut it The reason why I'm spreading two times is because I have a lot of sinus stuff in my throat once again and it pisses me off. So I have to spit two times. Sorry, but yeah. Now if you want to follow my Instagram, my personal one is ye.ye underscore 56. My new one is ye.ye underscore underscore 56. And also go follow my beautiful and amazing girlfriend at ye.ye underscore underscore. One, do not DM her. Two, and also do not comment anything like, damn your tits are big or whatever. Do not comment any of that shit. Because I hope once I could go off with you if you comment something like that. Now, if you are like, well, I'm going to say that for another video, for the next video, but anyways, a couple of shout outs I want to give. Real Dipper 24, Eric Dips, Mud Jug 1, Chris Dips 1, and Outlaw Dipper. If you guys will go follow them and subscribe to them, Chris Dips 1 is his Instagram. Mud Jug is, Mud Jug 1's Instagram is just Mud Jug, at Mud Jug. Eric Dips is Eric is at Eric Dips. Red Dip 24 is pretty much his username for YouTube. And his Instagram. Now, if you guys will follow me and like my pictures and like yada yada, so on and so forth, and shout me out, I will well, yeah, 20, uh, 2.5K, I will be giving the person who gets me that a free money jug of their choice. No matter if it's like a Christmas one, right, or roadie, or any of the roadies that are basic money jugs. I don't care, I'll get it for you. The next giveaway I'm going to do is going to be at 4.8K, then 6.9, then eight and so on and so forth until I get to like eh, 35.6k then after that I will quit the Mudge giveaways but if you shout me out when I'm above 36 point uh, uh, if I'm above like 126 point, 126k, just don't shout me out or nothing. If you want to DM me, go ahead, I can shout you out and all kinds of shit. But, yeah. Alright guys, it has been Backwards Outlaw and I'm out. Peace guys.